guys, what's up? Good to see you again. Last time we went to Harvard, but today I'm at the London School of Economics to attend some courses on financial markets. And I would really like to show you how it is to study at LSE. And I want to take you with me for one day at the beautiful city of London. Let's go. So I bumped into my friend from Belgium, Elliot. Hi. And we're going to our class. The classes are different from lectures. Uh, basically the difference is that the class is way more interactive. It's also with a small amount of people, about 20. Um, and lectures are mostly like in big lecture halls with about 200 people. And we have class in 30 second L. That's right over here. It's basically the building where the entire department of economics is and that's where we have class right now. We just finished class and now I just want to show you something really cool. No, but we're uh, now currently uh, walking to a roof terrace that I discovered on campus. It's really nice. And LSE has a lot of these, these places that you really need to find. Uh, so we're going there right now. So the place I talked about is an old building right over here. The place I'm talking about, I'm not entirely sure if we can just go there, but it's right over there. What? What? Cool, right? They didn't even know about it. <laughs> so yeah, I really like to come here from time to time, just sit there. In the sun. Enjoying the view. Alright, now I will need to hurry up because I'm going to meet up with a friend of mine in the city of London. I'm now going to meet up with an old friend of mine. I studied with him in Holland and he's currently living and working here in London at Salesforce. So I'm going to visit him at his work to have some lunch together. And to get there, we're going to take the subway or as they call it here, the underground. heart of London. It's called the city of London. This is where all the investment banks are, the big corporations and also Salesforce and it's probably right over there. There he is. There he is. How are you bro? Are you good? Good. Good to see you man. There we are. <laughs> Bro. I was like, let's go with LSE style. It's good, Look, man. You look good, man. Yeah, man. So what is the left, what is the left the building? Penis? The penis building. It's the, called the gherkin. The gherkin? Yeah. What, what's in there? Uh, offices. And you, can, you can actually do yoga at the top of the gherkin. Fun fact. There we go. So we got our lunch now, and now we're going to now we're going your going office. To the Heron Tower. The Heron also Tower. Also known as the Salesforce Tower. Sure. Yeah. Right. On the 36th yeah. floor, I'm called the Ohana floor. Yeah. Ohana is family in, in Hawaii. Hawaiian? Yeah. Which basically means that the floor is open to anyone. So I can go there as so well. So my lovely friend Lars is visiting. Wow. And he is welcome honored. to visit the Ohana floor. And then the next clip, you can see the views. Really nice. 
guys. Yeah, man, I think this is probably one of the nicest views around London, at least in the city. So that was fun, but uh, now we need to quickly get back to campus because study life never quits. So this is where we have our lecture. And as you can see, it's called Old Teeter because it kind of looks like a teeter. So the professor usually stands behind this desk and there's not just one floor, there are two floors. Uh, starting with today uh, on financial crisis in emerging markets. Um, economies. Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and the So classes are over and I'm now heading back to my residence, um, Roseberry Hall, which is located in the neighborhood Clerkenwell. It's about a 20 minute walk from campus. It's a residence that is part of LSE. They have like a few residences spread across the city. And I personally prefer to be in Clerkenwell because it's more like a local area. You see, not, you don't see many tourists here. The bars, the clubs you go to, there are mostly local people, and I personally really like that. They're really fun, nice, nice people here. So we're going there right now, and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. through London. It's a boat party organized by the London School of Economics. So I'm going to get ready, but before I'm going to do that, I'm going to have some food with an American friend, because when you drink, you need to have some good food inside of your stomach. So where are we right now, uh, Filippo? We are at the Tower of London, near next to the Shard. <laughs> so we're near the Tower of London, 
the shark. Oh, yeah. We dressed up a bit nicely for the party and we're going there right now. The boat should be somewhere here. We'll find it eventually. Because Fridays are for the boys. For the boys, right? Hey. All the other sea crew. Ready, ready to rock the boat. Tower Millennium Pier, there we are, and there's a shard. Finally, cool down a little bit. There we go, man. This one, you're down there. Tower Bridge. I guess this is where we have to register. Ready, boys? Vamos. We're vlogging right now. Eric, hey! What's up? We're vlogging. Is it, is it a good school? life? Yeah. It's it's good good life. Back of the boat. We're on the boat. We're chilling. Yes. All right. So with the finance of this regular day, Ryan, it's actually a vlog. It's actually a video. It's a vlog. Yeah. It's my first vlog appearance. I've never Go for it. <laughs> you got this. Come on. You guys should all follow me on Instagram. <laughs> hey, what's your Instagram? I don't have Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's turn on open notifications. guys, good morning. We're already at the end of this study vlog, but I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope it gives a good insight into how it is to study at the London School of Economics and how it is to live in the beautiful city of London. But more importantly, I hope that this video and also my previous video on Harvard University kind of triggers you to also go study abroad. Whether that is at LSE or Harvard, that doesn't matter. But studying abroad is such a great experience that I would like to recommend to everybody in the world. It's so great to have classes with people from different cultural backgrounds, people that are used to different political systems and have discussions with them about their ideas, about their visions on the world. With respect, very importantly, and afterwards you just have a beer together and it's all fine. So if you're interested in go study abroad as well, let me know in the comment section down below what university you would recommend and perhaps I might visit that university in the future as well. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.